Folks, welcome back to another exciting episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and DIYK9.com. And right here is Miss Sunny, the beautiful, little over one year old golden retriever, absolutely beautiful young lady. But you see my hands here? These were all the meds she was on when she came into our training program about six weeks ago. These are ADHD and anxiety meds for dogs. She don't need them anymore, folks, because she didn't need those in the first place. But we're gonna talk about her journey from before we got her, what we did during training with her, and then if you stay till the end, you're gonna actually see us take her home, take her on a first-class flight from Charlotte, where we are now, back to her home in South Florida, reunite her with her family, and we'll see what a world of difference we've accomplished in these last six weeks. Now, when she came to us about six weeks ago, the owners were at their wits end. They're huge golden retriever lovers. I think this is like their fourth golden retriever. They've never met a golden retriever like this where she was just full of energy and her issue was i'm telling you now if it was on the ground she ate it didn't chew on it didn't lick it didn't sniff it snatched it up and tried to swallow it as quickly as she could jumping on people jumping on everyone chewing drywall chewing the couches and the owner said i think been to a couple other trainers running out of options and ultimately went to a veterinary behaviorist to get her on these meds and then i asked him well are the meds working just a constant pull like, this is no fun. Who wants to walk their dog like this? Now she's gonna start jumping on everybody. We were kind of losing our minds a little bit. We felt like we weren't in control of her. Not really. So the meds were not the answer, oftentimes are not the answer. We're gonna let the owners tell you in their own words what they were experiencing. Getting her at first, she was definitely just full of energy, which, I mean, she's a six-month-old puppy, so we weren't too surprised by that. But as it the days went on, at the beginning, it was just a little bit overwhelming with how much energy she had and how much we felt like we weren't in control of her. Eating the house, eating carpets, running around, and things like that. I think one of the main things that I noticed was that she was super restless. Like she, we, I would take her on a super long walk and then she would come home, lay down for two minutes and then would just start pacing around the house. So wouldn't be able to sit still or just take a break. Like we had experience taking her on walks and picking up trash, bottles, even like chicken bones if there was something like on the floor, which became like a big concern. So everything on the floor was fair game, it seemed like. And then we went to a behavioral doctor as well for dogs. I feel like we were just trying to do anything that would have any effect and help us out because we we're kind of losing our minds a little bit. So I think that whether it was a placebo for me or not, it felt like uh, she'd be extra crazy and I would give her the meds and it would be a little better. Yeah. So I'm not sure what the actual result was, but it felt like it was helping a little bit. So as you can see, the owners were definitely dealing with a lot. And now I wanna go ahead and take you through the journey of some of the things we did to help get her to where she is now. First and foremost, we actually got her when we were still in our home in South Florida. We were actually in the process of moving from South Florida to Charlotte. So she actually came along the ride with us, journeyed all the way up. It's about a 10, 11 hour drive and she did pretty good. But even at that point, she wasn't fully trained. So she was a force to be reckoned with. Horrible manners in the crate, let me tell you. Barking, if you open the door, she'd shoot out. She's actually like a danger to herself and others, not because she was mean, but again, no control. So let's dive into some of the stuff we did to get her where she needs to be. 110%, she could not have got where she is with purely positive training. This is not to bash positive trainers. I'm just letting you know it wouldn't have worked in her case and it didn't work in her case. We had to institute a little bit of tough love to slow that motor down and bring about some of that attention we needed and let her know there are consequences when you don't listen. There are consequences when you shoot out the door and run out in the street and go to get hit by a car because I'd rather give her a correction on a leash or an e-collar and safely bring her back under control than to just let her run down the street and get hurt. Because this is the type of girl, if you got her off leash, off she goes. I can't tell you how many restaurants we've gone to with her. And then just yesterday, we took her to, I guess you could call it like a uh, festival in a small town near us, but there must've been thousands of people there. And people were asking us, just from the way she was behaving, that we were professional dog trainers. We must've got stopped a dozen times and saying, you guys are professional dog trainers because you could tell she's the best behaved dog there by far and there were tons of dogs there. Anybody who takes our DIY canine courses, my favorite compliment is I get stopped all the time and asked if I'm a professional dog trainer and the truth is you kind of are. You take one of our courses, you're learning how to be a professional dog trainer because you're learning from professional dog trainers and the same thing's going to happen when she goes home with her family. They're going to get stopped left and right. Where did you get your dog trained? Are you a professional dog trainer? Oh my god, I wish my dog was just like that because they're dealing with exactly what Miss Sunny was six weeks ago. You know, completely out of control. Dogs 
don't listen. If you wanna learn how to train your dog from zero to hero like we did with Miss Sunny and so many other dogs that are videoed and cataloged and in those courses, we encourage you to go ahead and check it out. What really matters is when we take her today, putting her on a plane to fly her first class back down to South Florida to where it really matters, we need to see how she behaves when we bring her back in that home environment, which is charged up with all kinds of mischief and mayhem, and get those owners to understand how to now drive their brand new car, so to speak. So without further ado, let's go ahead and follow along with us. We're gonna get packed up, loaded up, take her to the airport, and I want you to come along for that journey and see what it looks like when we take her home for the first time. All right, so as you can see, we are here at the airport, Charlotte International, super busy. Got our bags checked, went through security, no issues whatsoever. I can't imagine what she would be like before training and we brought her here. It would be a circus, like you couldn't do it. She'd be jumping on everyone and she's doing wonderful. Zero issues whatsoever. Now we just gotta hang out till we get on the flight. So let's go. So we're not really boarding a plane. This is just a really extensive set that we set up to make it look like we're boarding a plane. All that CGI, all of these paid actors. All right, so tip of the day, if you're gonna go on a flight, get one of these bully stick because these last a while. As you can see, she's crazy for them. This will keep her busy the whole flight. Now, after a whole day of traveling, you know we were famished, so we headed over to my kid's favorite restaurant, Kapow, located in Meisner Park in Boca Raton. They got excellent food. Now, we did more eating than filming, but after eating, we went ahead and went over to iPick Movie Theaters. The first thing we encountered was this incredible set of escalators, but Sunny absolutely crushed it. Now, if you're wondering, you can take a dog into the movie theaters? Yes, 100%. If your dog is as well-trained as Sunny, you can absolutely take them inside the movie theater. Now, once we were inside we had to treat our videographer Jeremy to another first-class experience and so we ordered just about everything on the menu nachos popcorn you name it we're a bunch of fat asses here but we truly enjoyed ourselves. and yes don't forget we definitely hooked up Sunny with some popcorn because she was so well behaved now after the movies we headed on over to our Airbnb where we were pleasantly surprised. What an incredible Airbnb, I can't wait to show you. All right, folks, so we made it to the Airbnb, but it's not just any Airbnb. This is actually owned by the owners of Sunny, and they so graciously extended the opportunity for us to stay at an Airbnb instead of a hotel. Now, I didn't even look it up. We just landed, and I punched in the address, and we showed up. This is almost a $2 million home, and this is just a rental property that they Airbnb out, and uh, all I can tell you is thank you, Sharon. This is a really special gift. Beautiful home. We got the ocean breeze. The ocean you can walk to. We got the pool. This is awesome, man. Talk about how dog training can take you places. Living the dream right now. Being on the road's tough, being away from the family, but things like this kind of make up for it. Got to travel first class to bring her here, and now we get to stay in definitely a first class type of Airbnb, and it's just an absolute blessing. So thank you very much. I'm real tired. We're gonna get some sleep because tomorrow she does her first of two take-home training lessons. <laughs> All right, folks, good morning. We are back at Meisner Park. The reason being, it's right down the street from the Airbnb that we're staying at. We got some coffee we're gonna get. You know how we gotta start our day. She's going everywhere with us, so she'll come inside to get coffee with us because today we're gonna do part one of the take-home training where we focus mostly on hand commands, voice commands, and most importantly, leash commands. And then the very next day, we'll be doing e-collar training with the owners to make sure that they know how to maintain and even improve her training for the life of Miss Sunny. The weather's probably like 60, 65 degrees, with the breeze, killer, killer South Florida weather. We brought that beautiful weather down with us from Charlotte, and so uh, we won't be sweating today while we're training. All right, time to get that coffee. This is what my wife looks like in the morning. That is the consistency that we need going forward. She goes home with what we call a minimum of a 30 day prescription, which is for the next 30 days, really it's for the rest of her life. But we need the front load of the first few days, especially the first 30 days. After that, it's really smooth sailing. If I turn right, now notice, I turn right, what the hell is she doing? She's back there because it's easier for me to turn right. Or I'm way out here. Oh, you're going that way. The correction's paired with the infraction. Right here, clean. 
When you activate this, what this is doing is acting like mama's teeth. If you want to know if you're staying in a nice Airbnb or not, you got to check the toilet. If it moves on its own to welcome you, then you know you're in a nice place. All right, good morning, folks. Today is the very final take-home day, but let's recap what happened yesterday. We went to the daughter's house, right? So really, she's owned by the daughter, Kiara, but kind of co-owned by Kiara's mom, Sharon, and so that's why they were both training with us yesterday. But she's gonna spend time both at Kiara's house, where we were yesterday, and also today, we're going to Sharon's house, where she will also spend time. When we go back to her main home, where she spent most of her uh, life, which is Sharon's house, that home right now is charged up with a lot of shenanigans. That's where she's chewed through drywall, destroyed couches, doesn't listen, et cetera. So we may have a little bit of a challenge ahead of us. So let's see how she does with that. But ultimately, I just wanna say yesterday really went off without a hitch. It was killer. She did perfect. And I just can't say enough good things about Sunny and how far along she's come. She's just, just a, like, I'm gonna be sad to see her go, as is often the case. When you first get him, you're like, what a nightmare. And then by the end, this is what you have, just an angel. But anyways, enough yapping for me. Sunny it's time to load up we're gonna see you over at the house up, up. all right so we're here and we're getting ready to begin that final training session I don't want to hold you up any longer just let you know we're gonna be training with them a uh, basic overview is take her off leash around the neighborhood show them how it's done then put the e-collar on them let them feel it at the same levels well the highest levels that they can take which will be pretty close to what she can feel then I'll put the e-collar on me and I'll be taking the exact same levels that she uses I want the owners to be extremely proficient using that e-collar and I'm gonna kind of channel my inner sunny I'm gonna be stubborn I'm not gonna listen I'm gonna try to run away and I want to see them use that e-collar to keep me with those beautiful sits downs place boards healing recall you name it and once they're extremely proficient and they stop basically making mistakes on me and they're using the right levels and the right timing then they'll take her on her maiden voyage for the first time ever in this neighborhood or anywhere else we may go but off leash and they're gonna be in full control All right first time coming back through her front door and in, in a while and we have to do uh, structure control discipline what do I mean by that respect all doorways don't shoot through this doorway like a wild animal. You gotta wait. Easy peasy. And she's gonna heal back inside with me. Sit. This is the house that she's, who knows what, like ate them out of house and home, you know, chewed through the drywall and probably ran in and out of this door a thousand times. Easy peasy this time. Okay, easy mama. Good girl. I want your motor at 80, 90, or 100 miles an hour. I need you 20, 30. I need you under control. She heard you. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha ha. Calm down. Give me a down. Cool. Pass that test, just like the front door. Bust the right hand turn again. <laughs> That's one of those setup for failures to say, hey, girl, be on point. Yeah. Because I don't care how well trained the dog is, they can never turn as quick as you. So it's a beautiful opportunity, a beautiful window for you to go beep. Right. Fraser, lover. Whoa. You'll know your dog's in the right spot on the heel when you can reach down with like no effort and her head's right where we want it. Yeah, I think that my biggest worry going into training was turning our dog into like a robot and having her not have that playful fun side anymore. But I feel with her, her training and how we've seen the past two days, it's just there's a time and place for everything. And like she can have those fun times and she's still the same puppy that she was, but just in control which I think is great moving forward because there are times that there's danger or crowds or people and things like that that we can control her in those situations and also have the normal puppy love playtimes. Yeah, I feel way more comfortable. Me and my mom were a little freaked out, you know, having a trained dog and we don't want to do anything wrong to break her training, but learning everything and all the like tactics that you guys have taught us has made me feel at ease in all the different examples and scenarios. So I think a lot of it can be applicable in different situations and I'll be able to think about something I learned and then apply it to a new situation if it arises. I'm so excited. She's gone a long time, so I'm really excited to have, have my puppy back. All right, folks, and that's a wrap. It's been two very long days. We had the two most amazing students we've ever had. Kiara and Sharon, I can't thank you all enough, not only for helping us or allowing us to film this, but choosing us. Uh, she's been just an amazing dog. I love this dog. She's a sweetheart, beautiful dog. I'm not just saying that because y'all are here, but she's just been, it didn't start out that way now. 
She was a she was a tough customer, but she's come such a long way. I mean, we freaking had her in a movie theater yesterday. You know what I mean? Like, who does that? We do. But um, that's all. I just want to say thank you to y'all, and thank you to Miss Sunny for being so great, and um, thank you all for watching. Anything y'all want to add? Thank you. We thank you so much. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. A lot of it. hope and excitement in the future with Sunny. I'm so excited. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.